Today we're going to go over the basics of getting started with Synchro 4D. Bentley Systems uses a tool called the Connection Client to track license usage. It runs in the background to ensure that all necessary tools and licenses are up to date and assigned properly. Here, you will see the default view for Synchro 4D, Resources, Tasks, Gantt Chart, Properties, and 3D model windows can be adjusted around the screen to fit each user's preferences. Synchro 4D works well with multiple monitor setups, which allows for better viewing and more customization options. Now, we will get started by importing our first schedule into Synchro. Synchro 4D can import schedule data from all major scheduling software including, but not limited to, Primavera P6, Microsoft Project, and Asta Power Project. You can see here that Synchro is able to read many objects from our imported schedule like tasks, costs, resource assignments, and activity codes. When I click Import, all of the schedule data is processed and brought into Synchro, where it can be viewed and edited like any major scheduling software. Unlike other major 4D platforms, Synchro 4D allows users to make changes to their schedule directly in the tool. These changes can then be exported back into their native scheduling software to ensure that the 4D model and schedule stay coordinated through the planning lifecycle. Next, we'll add some 3D models to start utilizing all of the features of Synchro 4D. Like schedules, 3D models can be imported from all major BIM software, including offerings from Bentley, Autodesk, and many others. You can see here that I am importing several 3D models from the same project. When I click open, the software will upload the 3D models into the Synchro space. You have several options to adjust how the model is loaded, like rotation or ignoring hidden objects. To keep these settings as default, I will just click the import button. Once the model is loaded, we will want to make sure that the option to assign to a new resource is selected. This will enable you to assign tasks to resources found in the 3D model. The resource type can be changed to human, equipment, material, or location. Since this is part of the building, I will stick with material. The last option we have for our 3D models is the resource creation. These options could allow us to keep the entire model as one object, which may be useful for equipment like concrete trucks. In this instance, I will choose to add resources underneath, build tree, which will give us the option to select and assign tasks to individual components within the model. Now that we have our schedule and 3D loaded, we're ready to start building the 4D model. Stay tuned for part two next week.